During this video, you will learn about conscious conception and what that means. I will discuss ancient mystical knowledge and teach you how to apply this to our modern world to conceive and birth consciously. You will leave with a broader understanding of specific ways to conceive a child with higher awareness. Everything I am discussing and much more can be found in my book, Mystical Motherhood, which takes readers step by step through the through conscious motherhood from the time before conception to the early childhood years. Mystical motherhood is found on Amazon. Two very important concepts I would like to start out with include the first, conscious conception. It takes a significant amount of mental, emotional, and spiritual preparation. In ancient times, yogis would take years to prepare to bring a baby into this world. Anywhere from 7 to 40 years of internal devotion and prayer was not uncommon. I know we don't have that much time now, but there is no better time to start than now, and I'm going to teach you how in this video. The second thing you should understand is that pregnancy is something not to take on if you are not fully ready. Don't take having a child lightly. It's very important. Yogi Bhajan explained that if you are not prepared to have a baby, you can significantly decrease the IQ of the child, and this percentage increases if both the male and the female are not prepared. Conscious conceptions means that you plan every detail of having a child come into your life. You must discuss and understand the mental, physical, and spiritual changes that you will go through. You need to plan the conception date and amplify your energy on that day. You must prepare your body by eating the right food. And most importantly, you should begin to speak, to speak and connect to the child long before he or she arrives here on earth. Let's go into a little bit more about what con conscious conception means specifically. It means connecting to the soul you want to bring down through intention and meditation long before you become pregnant. If you know you want to have a baby years down the road, don't wait to connect. Even if you are on birth control, you can connect to your womb and the baby long before the event. Please note, when we are on birth control for a long period of time, we disconnect from our wombs and tell our bodies we don't want a baby. So when the time comes around to have a baby, we expect our bodies to work fast, which can cause mixed energetic signals. Even if we are on birth control and do not want a baby in that specific moment, we can still consciously connect to our wombs to keep the energetic frequency high so, within the, so that when the time comes, we are more prepared to become pregnant. When you are ready to have a baby, you have to feel this within your body and tell your repro reproductive organs that it is time. Conscious conception requires a daily practice of meditation and prayer. You can find out more about how to do this in my book, Mystical Motherhood. You can begin to speak to the baby you would like to have and connect to the child through your inner mind during meditation and throughout the day on walks or while playing music. Be specific and ask for the type of individual you want to conceive. Include your partner in this process if the person is willing. Speak to the universe with the intention of bringing in a sacred child and committing to your part of the process. Before conception, you also want to begin to speak with your partner about all the practicalities of raising a child before he or she actually arrives. You need to discuss how your life will change and the basic physiological safety and love needs that the child will require to grow. Some of the questions you could discuss include who will help care for the child other than you, other than your partner? Will family members be available? Don't just assume that they will be. Who will work and how many hours a week? Which partner's career leads or do both partner's career leads? And in that case, who takes care of your child? Do you agree on a diet? Do you have certain belief systems around what a child should eat, or even belief systems around the vaccinations that the child should have. This should all be discussed long before the baby comes to earth. Where are your um, fears? 
where will you, what, what kind of fears do you have around birth? What kind of fears do you have around um, raising a child? Do you have fears from your own childhood you need to deal with? How will you feed the child? Where will the child live? Will the child sleep in your room? You can go far into the future too. What type of school will the child go to? What type of schooling do you believe in? How do you plan to discipline the child? Where will he or she sleep? Will he sleep in your bed? Will she sleep in another crib? Do you believe in that? Will you breastfeed? Where do you ultimately want to live? And what is your life plan? Beyond discussing the basic needs of family requires, you also need to get to know yourself deeply before having a baby. And even more importantly, you need to like yourself. If you want to conceive and birth a compassionate and loving child, you must love yourself first. If your self-esteem is low, you have to deal with that. You have to deal with your personal insecurities and relationship issues long before you become pregnant. If you don't, you will undoubtedly attract and create a similar frequency of a child with similar problems than, of you. That, I mean, similar problems that you had growing up. You can literally change the DNA of the child while he or she is in the womb through meditation, by changing your belief systems, by feeling better. Another great tool for conscious conception is taking a personality inventory. This means that you must go through your personality and everything that happened to you up until now that brought you to where you are. You can likely find one of these online, but here are some of the basics. You will need a journal to do this, and don't plan on doing it in one sitting. This can take months. It's best to do this before you become pregnant, but if you do it during your pregnancy, that's better before the child comes. You need to identify who you are as a mother, who you are as a child, and who you are as a woman. What type of impressions do you make on other people, and how do people make impressions on you? You need to understand what you think parenting is and understand how you likely act as one, understand how your mother or your father acted as one and how you might do the same as them or how you might want to change. Look at your beliefs and ask if any of them are true because your belief systems create your life and your mental intrigue and your thoughts also create your life so you need to look at all of that. You need to understand your history everything that you think you are and you're capable of. And you need to just deeply know your insecurities so that you don't pass any of this onto your children. This was a brief description of conscious conception in this video. And there's so much more I can teach you. You can find more about this online at mysticalmotherhood.com. You can find more about this in my book at mystical, on mystical motherhood found on Amazon. You can subscribe and tell your friends, and I look forward to seeing you in future videos.